The thing is Snapchat, just going back to this whole horizontal face strand thing with the hair, with the gap that you seem unable to sense or fill shouldn't be there. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about there's a link in the comments below. I've managed it just using shadows. Look, there it is. But look, it's not hard. I just think it's something you're really looking out for. Maybe it's an unusual problem. Maybe, maybe no one else gets that strand there. But look how easy it is. Looks like I've got an asymmetrical fringe and I've just used traditional methods, just shadows. My method of um, disguising hairline issues with shadows is fine at night, of course, and also when you can move yourself physically to, to the best possible position. I don't know what, what the solution is really, whether I need to design some kind of shadow casting headgear aka a hat but the thing is I'm not aiming for the hat look I'm aiming for has normal hair look if I wanted a hat I'd wear a hat but I'm wanting to fit in with with others around me that don't seem to have horizontal hair strand to, to the extent I do another obvious drawback here is the shadows being cast on other parts of the body so gain a beast hairline lose a chin or lose a mouth depending on where the camera is. All right, it's not fail safe, but at least I'm making an attempt. If I wasn't Snapchat, I'd look like this. What's that? I'm surprised you don't pick it up. It's so glaringly obvious. It's like a beacon, a forehead beacon. Obviously it's just me then. 